round two of the Team Six players. A huge trade that keeps the Team Destroy in it and leaves Team Six absolutely scrambling. And oh, oh, look no. at that! Off of the first drop, out of the plane, we're getting mixed in. We're seeing contests. Game number three, Team Zix, I believe, is fully eliminated. They are indeed. I mean, I'll be honest, I thought Team Zix had Team Destroy there. I thought that they pushed a little bit too aggressively. Nate Dog in particular gets caught, gets damaged. Zix picks up quite a bit of damage himself, but then the fact that that's all traded about by Raul just puts Team Zix in the blender, and they are out of here, ladies and gentlemen, in map three we move on over chemical engineering our next spot as we've got the new icons looking to contest the singapore syndicate new icons sitting there but hey team falcons coming back off of that win feeling great they spot miami heretics over at these tents area some very solid shots over in the prison though it's guild we saw them kind of hold down this area until Fnatic usurped the throne, looking to continue that, but I don't know, you got Aizun not too far away. Rodrigo finds two, and the confirmation, being able to fly on in, but it looks like maybe for now, Guild is, is still alive. Actually, no, I'm, I'm mistaken. Guild has been eliminated. I'm not sure what goes in there, but it is a complete breakdown. The two players from Guild that we get to see on our screens get dropped. AJ's in the back. He's trying to just stay alive even though he's on the deck and the timer eventually ticks on through guild esports out of here two teams already we spoke about this in the earlier maps the pace at which we are moving in these finals is absolutely unprecedented seeing these sides be ruthless across the board man we saw some contests in those first two games but i feel like it took game number three people are winning these contests oh, now yeah. we're seeing them completely white teams not just put two of them into the dirt as we see yet again squad eight that's team destroy they started off hot they were feeling good they are also eliminated out of the map blink of an eye here to start map number three and we are already losing teams left and right the falcons have moved on up from stronghold to that living quarters we know they like to stay here fanatic on the other side of factory and a little bit of a tussle. They are indeed. It's the Twisted Mind, second against third, fighting for control here over this factory landmark and just trying to anti-air gun Smith out of the sky. He will get himself down and Aiden's oh. actually going to provide coverage over the back because I was worried for a second there. Noobs manages to land some shots. Aiden actually finds Skullface and Noobs as well. So Ullman trying to just play his anchor, but also trying to clean on up. And this is exactly why, ladies and gentlemen, your anchor role is so important. We've already seen three squads wiped off the map, and it's just because of Ullman sitting off there towards the tower over by headquarters that Fnatic stay in this one. And you even see it in those player cams. Skullface gets ripped. Aiden just is able to line it on up with that Holger and just rips the bullets on through. He's a little bit in disbelief that that happens. Oh, yeah. And Ullman, yeah, is left alone up here you have to wait for the two players to get back on in thankfully resurgence very much still active as we're in zone one but still a little bit of a regain for two-thirds of Fnatic. Oh, and Ullman, though, hits a beauty. Skullface will trade that out. Essentially a 3-2-1 if you've ever seen one. Can you get the elbow? Yes, you can. Limax out of here. Feels like Na'Vi have been in a bit of a blender every single time we see them. And Ullman proving his worth up on the top. And Twisted Minds continuing to move. Aiden finds his third. Actually takes a bit of damage, so he's just going to have to take a moment here, but go, go, Knight, looking to get aggressive in Factory. Yeah, I mean, when we look at the kills across the board, Twisted Mind currently sitting on six, Fnatic on seven, so maybe even it's been aggro, you're going down, you're still finding those early eliminations, and I know that's what they love to have. Still over here at Industry, though, it is AB Wiz. They are known for holding down this area, and so far it's looking maybe like they're able to stay alive, but you got a team underneath you in the icons that are trying to maybe create some space. A little bit of a moment right now, if you are AB Wiz. Well, the thing is, the icons have decided to hold Bio because Duo's up there by himself. Vitality continued to be in just a complete blender, and Icons actually don't want to leave this to chance. Icons want to get very aggressive. They find Stuo, they remove him from the board, and as Vitality members try and come back on in, landing around Industry, they are in a shambles right now, trying to find their way into this finals. But new Icons, another squad that continue to impress. By the way, kill feed. I'm seeing Falcons picking up kills on Fnatic. Wow, that is what we like to see. Maybe a little bit of a revenge there from that last game coming online. We lose another squad in the mix of that, though. Vitality taken on out. So, man, I can't believe it. We're already here into the top 10, Enigma. And it is looking so, so spicy to kick us on out. We are looking for number eight. That's the next place we would like to get to. That is our 1.2 multiplier. That's where finally some of your 
eliminations start to kind of mean a little bit more. Yeah, it's when it becomes everything a bit more valuable. Intex looking to push on through Chem here. You he will have the new icons underneath him, and those loadouts might well be baited out if he so wishes. And Skullface, by the way, in the kill feed, picking up Hisoka. Believe here fighting with Trevs. Believe loses that. Donkey and Intex trying to look on out over this. And although you do have a moment of reprieve, a moment to reset, you're trying to bring your teammate back on in, you're worried about potentially getting pushed by the new icons, and honestly, I think you fly, you find yourself a new position to base yourself from. Yeah, I think it's that ability to read that we need to quickly get away from here, we need to rotate out, that is leading to some of these team success. So I like when we have a team like the new icons, they're coming here together, they make that type of read. Now let's take a look at a, an event that we had happen on earlier in the map, because it was really, really intense. As we see hard trevs finding Intex, we see Believe get taken up by another. Yeah, here's this replay that we're going to talk about. Yeah, that was Guild down in the showers trying to fly on through to find Vitality, a really crucial moment in the game. Yeah, seeing exactly why Vitality are struggling. Guild doing a better job of holding on to the prison, something that they've struggled with in, in earlier rounds. We saw them go out very early last map, in fact. So it's a better start from them. And, well, they need to pop off, quite frankly, because we're seeing three teams in particular run away with this one. You don't want to be chasing the pack too long. You don't want to be making it a situation where you're under a lot of pressure to pick up the pace. Knight takes a sniper bullet from somewhere. You've got to assume that's Almond still sat in his tower away in headquarters. But for now, a moment to breathe, and that's nice for once, Dandro. Yeah, I mean, it feels like we've been nonstop action. I spoke way too soon. Oh, Biffle God. lurking down in the bottom of Factory, but you got two members of Twisted Minds who fly on through, take the 2v1, make it a nice, clean elimination. A-OK, -okay, though, we still have Resurgence up for just a moment here. Biffle will be able to get back on in. Falcons, you know, we haven't seen a lot of them this map, but as I say that, they have six eliminations, so it's not too bad. You know, it's not like they're having a stinker map. They definitely are trying to set themselves up for that end. Game. That's exactly what they do. We'll come back to that in just a moment because JTEC here has company in the name of Team Eisen and he's just trying to stay alive. Has done a fantastic job actually and will potentially have some support here. JTEC looking to look on over this. Eisen will they'll both crack each other and JTEC, wow. the fact that he stays alive and makes that play is huge because it will give them control of Harbor and they also have a massive region here to loot on our out, set themselves for the coming end game because the next team anywhere near them is actually going to be Factory and that is Twisted Minds. And one kind of little low-key thing to note about that fight, you're able to win that. You saw that other player from Omit flying back on in. We kind of talk about the regain sometimes when that has to happen. Taking down a player and then being able to immediately grab their loot to get that third teammate right back into the game to let you keep moving around the map is so, so crucial, especially when you have teams like Twisted Minds who are looking to start getting aggressive. Aiden opens the door, was looking through that. Knight playing on the outside. Good armor break. Will be able to bring down Tenix and has the opportunity to drop down behind the staircase, provide him some cover. Aiden is there. We'll drop the smoke so that way they can go on down. Maybe decide, do we want to push this or are we just going to kind of continue to hold this red roof building? I mean, we spoke a little bit before the show, Dandro, about Omit talking about how they feel confident about the game plan. I love the decision making after that. They lose their player, they back on off towards the harbor side, making themselves safe, giving themselves an opportunity to reset before Twisted Minds come again. Na'Vi, who it feels like every time we see them are in trouble, lose Levi and Limax. They're two superstars through this tournament thus far. They're getting squeezed by the Falcons, and just as Levi and Limax get themselves back up, Biffle and Soka clean things out. And uh, yes, it feels like it's been like a not big pop-off performance thus far in this map from the Falcons. They're on nine kills. Dandro, they're just behind our leaders. Yeah, they are one elimination behind Fnatic and Twisted Mind, who are currently at 10 and 11, respectively. I thought we were about to see some really solid team fight there between Na'Vi and the Falcons, and the Falcons just come on through and, well, absolutely slam Na'Vi. Slam them straight out of map three. We will see you in four, gentlemen, as we continue our reign of terror. Stronghold isn't available to them anymore, so they've decided they want control center. And you can hear the fans in the yeah. STC arena getting behind their boys. And I believe that we are going to get to watch a little replay here of Biffle going absolutely massive in control. Yeah, Biffle's been a real key player today, and yeah, you can see that. Levi was trying to go for the self. He's able to pop it off, but just Biffle is there. We'll be able to bring him on down after that self-revive does get popped. So no oh. opportunity for Na'Vi to stay alive. And as Hard Trevs flies on in, Twisted Minds, they'll get gifted elimination and take another squad out of the lobby. And we're into our top eight. So we are onto our 1.2 multiplier. Resurgence obviously disabled at this point. So this is where every single kill becomes that little bit more important, a little bit more 
Ace Brick in your path to success. Oki Ooh. trying to pick up cams and team up with finally seeing a bit of success here, trying to control that dock region, but now they've got to figure out their rotation towards prison. You're hoping no one's on the rooftop and they might well have a window, but look who's not very far away. Team Falcons will have to get through the Singapore Syndicate first though, and they actually have Team Fnatic shooting at them from top prison. Ah, this is just wild. Some of the positioning we're seeing from some of our top teams, you know, sometimes we won't see them have to go at it till the end game, but for right now, it could be a clash of the Titans. Falcons, the smokes are out, trying to be able to give them the opportunity to go through the rotation but they're taking a lot of damage while it's happening. Have to back on up. Team AB Wiz, they're in prime position to really, really gatekeep right now. We see the mobile dot buy station get flown on in. Might be able to give them an opportunity to kind of grab some of that gear that they need. You can kind of snake the, the mobile buy a little bit, but SGP goes huge. We see a lot of the members of the Falcons go down. Only one player from the Falcons left alive, trying to stay there, trying to hang on hope. But meanwhile, on the other side of the map, we have Twisted Minds going huge, taking out Team Omen. Yeah, and Biffle here just wants to play for top five. He wants to get themselves that next multiplier onto the 1.4, but he has oh. Team Abwiz looking back at him, and they know that they can get him off the board here. Biffle makes a play for the gas, and we've seen this squad pull off so many gas plays, but you have got a lot to do at this point. But you do have the cash if you can make the rotation. You also have the PDS in pocket. Biffle yeah. looking to go huge and bring his side back into the fight. This is just such a classic Falcons play. They know this map. They know where the buy stations are. And you can see Biffle is trying to fly around. There you go. Finally finds the buy station <laughs> on the boat. So he'll be able to have enough cash to... Looks like he invests in a gas mask, potentially, and only one player. He did have the 7,400. Could got both teammates back, but it seems like, hey, he wanted to kind of get some gear, wanted to be able to at least get one player back on in. Zone does go ahead and pull, and it is going to see a lot of players try and fight for this space. We've got... So many squads trying to rotate oh. in for a prison, and we will finally see our Falcons fall before our end circle. They are out of here, cleaned up by Fnatic, looking to claim themselves closer to that top spot. Zone's actually pulling off favorably for Fnatic, who have prison rooftop control. Everyone else is going to have to fight in the layer kick, the quagmire, as we called it, of prison. Twisted Minds, they did fantastic game number one. Fnatic in game number two, and it feels like it's going to be up to either one of them to clutch this one on out, but it's not over yet because you got AB Wiz, you got Aizun, and SGP Syndicate to get through before you can get to that end game. A little bit of a top team on top team violence as Twisted Mind tries to rotate on out. Skullface will find Smith and actually also AB Wiz as we're starting to see a flurry of eliminations come on through as SGP Syndicate will be able to take down Aiden on rotation. Fnatic have been able to move themselves into zone. They are waiting here. They are going to be the gatekeepers of this final circle. I actually love this play. I think this is absolutely massive from Team AB Wiz. They've managed to find themselves the rooftop. It will give them a lookout over everyone else as the rest of the lobby bleeds. We're into our top five and Prodigy Ooh. picks himself up a kill. Knight gets the confirm on another and we are just seeing Fnatic try and hold the low ground. The PDS is coming on out there up at top. However, zone continuing to shrink. We have Team Eisen still fighting in this. Fnatic holding on just about and Twisted Minds have Whoa. one player, but all three of Team Abwiz fall. Prodigy and Abwiz just about wow. staying up, and they have another PDS to play out from. Oh, but unfortunately, Prodigy did fly back on down below, so he will go down. Only one player remaining from Team AB Wiz as Z Smith tries to make the play into the gas. And Noobs and Almond, they're kind of reaping the rest of this lobby. Rodrigo will go down to the gas as we're starting to see AB Wiz start to try and get the self off on the roof. I don't know if it matters. I don't think it does. And wow, we see Falcons go down early, and yeah, it's Fnatic. They are feeling good in that game. Yeah, I mean, we get a glance at them there. They might be a muted response from these three, but they're just trying to stay locked in. They know job's not finished. They know there's a lot to do just yet. It's just try and continue to hunt down the tails of the Falcons. But it's a great play for Top Prison that gives them that win. They just set themselves up there, let everyone else scramble on out of prison as the zone rotates and cut them down on the path. They time the rotation to the low ground beautifully and just hold everyone else off as they're scrambling. They're walking wounded and they're walking straight into Fnatic. Yeah, I mean, Falcons, you did a great job. You found the eliminations. They go a little bit early, and that's going to really open up the rest of the map for some of these other top teams to really come out clutch. Go to mention at the top of the show. Sometimes this Team Falcons can be a basically point sponge where they're getting so many eliminations on the map. There just aren't the points for the rest of these squads to get. So with them going down early, Fnatic, they're like, hey, we're going to play positioning. We are going to start flying through the rest of this lobby. It's great that they rotate on early. 